the overall uh, future of the American com- uh, American uh, economy? Uh, I, I think it's very dangerous. In other words, I'm I'm not talking about the market next week, next month, even. But I'm saying to you, you that right now, uh, I can't understand why companies are, are selling at multiples. The S and P really, Trish, is selling not at 18 times earnings, but about 22 times earnings, because a lot of the earnings are a mirage. You, you really. In, if you really dig into the earnings, nobody seems to want to. Yeah, I mean, just example. Well, 22 but, times earnings, I mean, well, that's you know, not it's, awful. I mean, it's well, not come on, too it's rich, pretty, but it's, 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 it's not like 30. Come on, the risk premium, the risk premium really isn't there, right? I mean, you're paying an awful lot for stocks, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember with five times, six times was a good number. You know, you, you have this risk premium when you buy a company. So I really do think it's high, and I think our earnings are overstated in many cases. I mean, you look at all the stuff that's been coming out on Valiant, you know, and, and mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, you, you buy com- companies in general. I'm not going to pick out any one or, or, or two companies, but you you today have um, companies where, say, say you buy a company and they have patents, and the patents are going off the patent cliff, meaning you won't have the value of that patent in three years. And then when they give okay. guidance, they say, well, don't count that. Yeah. Don't count my earnings. Yeah, okay. there's something so, sort of yeah, fundamentally look, wrong I, with that. I think there's, there's real problems. Uh, you, you're the guy who goes in, you try and shake things up, you try and shake up management. Uh, you've been uh, hugely successful doing so. Uh, your buddy Nelson Peltz is out with some news today. Uh, he's uh, making some noise over at General Electric. Uh, when you look at GE stock price over the last 10 years, it's, it's effectively sort of gone nowhere. Now, all of a sudden, it's spiking up about 4% in today's market on news that Nelson Peltz is getting involved, an activist you know, like yourself. Um, what do you think the future holds for Jeff Immelt having someone like Peltz I, 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 I let talk to Nelson about it. I, I really am not... <laughs> I like to talk about stuff that I really know about. Really, that's my nature, you know, and I'm no expert on GE. And I'm sure Nelson has a lot to say about it, so call yeah. him. Yeah. Um, well, you know, what about in general, the, the, the value that you see activists bringing to the table? Well, what look, is that? I, I, could, I could speak for certain activists. I Look, as, as in anything, there's some good activists, some bad ones, the way you look at it. You know, some activists are only looking for short term, and uh, I don't think that is good. But on the other hand, if you look at the companies, at least we've been involved with, and, and other activists too, I mean, you, you look at, 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 at even the last few years, what, just getting on the board, you look at Forrest that went from, you know, $30 a share to, to 99 I mean, go back to just, just the, I think we saved Motorola, you could argue. We got on the, the board of uh, Haynes and, and, and helped quite <laughs> That's a right. bit. And, and, you know, that went from, I don't know, 20 to 90 You could look at so many that we got involved, so it does work. Is Tim Tim Cook still taking your calls these days, or are you still uh, very uh, much involved yeah, with I, Well, I, I, I always liked Tim Cook. I thought he was doing a great job, and I still think he's doing a great job. You know, uh, we just, we just there wanted buybacks, and I think we did get them increased somewhat. We, we, we're responsible for that. But uh, I think Tim Cook is a good operator, but a lot of companies we're involved with uh, are really – there's a lot of criticism to be made of them, and these guys make a fortune. You got guys making forty-five million a year, and the average worker's making nothing. The shelters aren't making anything because the board approves it. The, yeah, you know, the board, they, yeah, they're hard behind the business judgment rule. In fact, I think the SEC today said, and I think it's a good thing that they're going to hold these guys, some of them individually mm-hmm. responsible. I mean, it's sort of ridiculous right now. You know, when they finally do go after a company for doing all these things. Then, then who pays for it? The shareholders anyway. So you, you, you know, you hide behind this business judgment rule, which I think is going to change. Well, and it should change. I, I, I know you're you're uh, you're very uh, vocal about it, uh, Carl. Always good to talk to you. Thank you very much for joining me today. I, and good yeah. talking to you, Trish. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I want to.